Hello, Driving Intelligence community. Most of you that follow my channel are DIYers, and one of the most basic things that you can do is replace the battery of your vehicle. Well, as time moves on, things get much more complicated. Uh, a lot of the vehicles have a lot of settings that are retained in memory, and when you remove the battery, if you remove it for more than just a few minutes, then the capacitors discharge and your vehicle forgets a lot of stuff. And if you go even more than about 30 minutes, your ECU, which has a lot of vehicles have a self-learning mode or a self-learning capability, learn the driver, it's going to forget all those presets, it's going to clear and wipe all that memory. So when you start driving again, the vehicle is going to feel a little different as you're driving down the road. It's not going to remember how you like to drive. Well, I saw this device from VSTM. I reached out to them and said, would you send me one of these to review? And they did. And what this does is it plugs into your OBD port and they have a nice long a three meter cable that can plug into the cigarette lighter of another vehicle so you can retain power to the system while you're removing the battery or you can just use another 12 volt battery. You can put the, uh, this together and clamp this to the other battery so that you retain that memory when you're doing the battery swap. Now this is critical to some vehicles that have uh, lockouts. When you change a battery, for example, I worked on a Honda before, the radio will lock out and you have to have a special code to get back in the radio. And this of course will prevent that. Now one of the things I was hoping was that this would help in, uh, with a lot of these expensive foreign vehicles where you have to do battery registrations, for example, with Audi, BMW, and Mercedes. And uh, it's absolutely important to have the battery registered with a new battery because you won't get the same performance or proper performance out of the battery, maybe even out of the vehicle. So this doesn't necessarily work for that. Uh, if you want to disconnect the battery in those vehicles, this might work as long as you're retaining the same battery that you had. This will retain memory in the ECU. But otherwise, for those of you with those expensive foreign vehicles, you're kind of stuck with going to the dealer. What's disappointing is that some of the domestic manufacturers in the United States are going that direction. I know Ford has moved in that direction, so they've got this battery management system that requires battery registration when you do a battery change. But uh, for those of us that have older vehicles, my newest one, 2006 Cadillac CTSV. Actually, I got my girlfriend's 2014 Mazda CX-5. Battery registration is not required. This is perfect for that use. And again, uh, you may say, well, I've got an older vehicle, I don't care, but this will help you retain, as I mentioned, radio presets, seat presets. Uh, it will retain your, your ECU's memory so that it remembers your driving habits. So there's a lot of benefit to using something like this. This one for VSTM also uh, is very nice because it's a lot longer than a lot of them. It's three meters long, 10 feet. And it also has gold-plated contacts that are in the OBD port. So what I'm going to go down to do now is just uh, show you how this connects into your vehicle. And uh, again, it's just super simple. So I'm going to link this in the description of this video and I'm going to make it one of my normal recommended products uh, in my list of products that I like to use and keep on hand. So let's go check it out on the vehicle. To test this device out, I'm in my 2006 Cadillac CTS-V. It has express window function, so both up and down. But when you remove the battery in this vehicle, that defeats that, so you have to reprogram these windows. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hook this into the OBD port. I'm gonna connect this out, these alligator clamps to a spare 12 volt battery out here. And I'm gonna disconnect the battery for several hours. And then I'm gonna disconnect everything after I reconnect the battery, and we're gonna see if the express window function still works. All right, that battery's disconnected and we're gonna let it sit for several hours and test it after it's reconnected. Now that everything's hooked up, I'm gonna leave it alone for a while. I'm not gonna to touch it. And I'm not gonna use any of the accessories because the fuse on this only covers eight amps and you don't wanna take a chance on blowing that fuse by moving the seats or the windows. I'm just gonna leave everything sitting as it is. Battery's disconnected. I'm gonna come back in a few hours, maybe even tomorrow, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back tomorrow Give it a full 24 hours and then we'll see if it remembered all the functions that I promised it would. 
It's been almost two days, about 47 hours. I was really gonna do it just one day, but I thought it'd be interesting to go a little longer. Anyway, I was busy. But I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect the battery, disconnect the OBD power, and you wanna do it in that order. Disconnect the battery, or reconnect the battery first, disconnect the OBD power, and then we're gonna test that express window function. Battery reconnected and the OBD port disconnected, the temporary power supply. So we're gonna see if the express window function works. And it does. So the vehicle remembered all of its, uh, all of its settings. So I don't have to reprogram anything. This is a, a beautiful use of this tool. Hopefully this helped you out to see if there's an options for you to, uh, to shorten your, your repair cycles, your maintenance cycles, or at least to, to make it easier for you to change your battery. And, uh, and that's it. I'll see you next time on Drive It Intelligence. And don't forget to check out the links in the description below.